all right uh, let's talk about tradex a portfolios uh, so most of the tools that we have discussed in this crash course have either been day trading tools or swing trading tools but we haven't had a chance to discuss something that's uh, for long term and long term here would mean a uh, couple of weeks uh, to couple of months or even couple of years as well uh, so we wanted to create uh, a tool called AI portfolios that uses different data driven methods to create or build AI portfolios so that you can simply follow them and gain money off of that and so a very uh, important disclaimer before i start uh, these AI portfolios are always changing so anytime you feel like we have a better data driven method to build these portfolios we are going to completely replace this tool and build something better and uh, show it to you but Anytime we do change these AI portfolios, we will always have a portfolio guide on the right top. So by the time you're watching this video, if you see a different portfolio with different performance, uh, please know that that's intended. We are trying to, uh, we are trying to stop or remove the portfolios that are not working and then always uh, keep adding the ones that are so that we are always uh, getting money because the one that you're, that you're seeing here uh, has started to lose money recently it it did really well uh, <laughs> over the last one year but uh, since it's a short portfolio and we're going to talk about it uh, and, and the markets have started to go up now uh, it's starting to lose money so th this is definitely a case where uh, we will consider building more portfolios that are uh, market neutral so if there is a if there is an issue or if there is a limitation of what we have right now we are always building on top of that and uh, making it uh, making it better making it more profitable making it more accurate uh, so i just wanted to add that because maybe by the time you are seeing the video uh, we will have uh, different portfolios with much uh, better performance but let's talk about what we have here uh, i wish this th these were doing uh, great uh, so that i can uh, boast uh, about them but uh, these have not been doing that well lately but I'll still go over the general principle of portfolios and how do these uh, tools work and hopefully they'll be useful. Uh, so AI portfolios, uh, no matter what uh, the backend is, uh, so right now it's just a short portfolio. Uh, uh, every day before the market close, about 30 minutes before market close, it builds new short positions. If there is no short position, it'll just uh, not show anything, but it's, it's, it tries to build short positions that for stocks that it thinks are going to go down. And you'll see those uh, short positions in the entries and any existing positions that it had if it wants to close them it's going to go ahead and close them and you'll see the profit and loss there so this was a pretty bad play because we lost uh, about 70 percent of our money and the problem with shorting is obviously you can lose a lot more uh, you can use a lot more because markets inherently have been going uh, up over the last uh, couple of decades uh, so uh, building some building a short portfolio short only portfolio uh, is slightly hard but this portfolio isn't that bad uh, we launched it last year and it has a sharp of about 0 0.7 which is not super great but it's not bad by any means uh, and on average uh, we gain about 0 0.73 so this is in shares not in options not in calls or puts uh, so about one percent gain and we hold for about uh, 15 days or 16 days so that means every 15 days you are getting about 1% profits if you are following these portfolios um, which is again not bad 1.5% a month and that's about 15 16% a year as well uh, and the good thing here is that since this is actually since uh, S&P for, for most of the time goes up and this is a short portfolio anytime the market goes into um, a bearish market these portfolios are actually going to save you up and that's what happened uh, late 2021 early 2022 as well and so obviously S&P was going down in all of this uh, time actually here as well uh, so this dip was something that was slightly unfortunate but uh, S&P was going down here but these portfolios were going up because they are short portfolios and all this time S&P was going up but these portfolios were still able to generate income uh, make money despite S&P going up so they they do work well in bullish markets as well but lately there has been a slight move down so total gains over the last 
after two years if you went into every position it's 580 percent uh, i've been just thinking about this metric and i think this is slightly limited so it should be uh, if you invested uh, a certain amount of money initially how much has that money can uh, become into now and so that's the metric that will uh, soon start to use in our ai portfolios then we have the average hold time the biggest win and the biggest loss so this is the performance uh, cumulative performance if you just want to look at the daily t total change as you can see we had a couple of really bad days and uh, we were very consistent early 2022 late 2021 we were very consistent before that as well and then we were very consistent uh, in june in, in may june as well but uh, we have had a couple of bad days that have uh, sort of sent these profits down and that's not again a too bad because these air portfolios we make them without any stop losses so if you are an investor or if uh, <laughs> if you know about stop losses and if, if you know about your profit targets then you can probably just pick up trade ideas from here which are slightly longer term trade ideas because 16 days is just the average time some plays uh, go on for months you can just pick up those trade ideas and build your own positions with your own parameters with your own stop losses with your own profit targets and you will never see these big dips because these big dips were there without any stop loss without anything there has to be a criteria that is met and that's not a stop loss before we exit position and sometimes that criteria uh, sometimes that great criteria actually backfires and it ends up uh, causing a couple of losing positions then we have the distribution of how the profits and losses look so uh, this distribution should be skewed towards the right and there should be more uh, yellow bars to the right because that would mean more profits because it's a profit and loss percentage uh, and th then this should uh, not be skewed towards the left because the left would uh, mean more losses. Then we have the symbols that have given us the most profits and the most losses. Uh, this portfolio works pretty well for uh, small caps. It does not uh, build many positions for large caps. So most of the names you're going to see here are small caps. Then we have the uh, profit and loss distribution for sectors, for market cap, and for price. This will, uh, this can help you figure out which plays do you want to follow because the system is going to generate tons of plays. It's going to follow all of them, but you don't have to. You can actually look at these distributions and see which plays do you want to go into. And then finally, we have the portfolio trade. So these are all the trades uh, that are ongoing, that were closed recently, <laughs> and that were. Uh, opened like all the way from the start of the portfolios in 2021 uh, in May 2021 uh, up till now so all of the data is right in front of you we, we have a couple of really good positions for 53 percent on RNG we actually closed it uh, last week and so that 71 percent uh, that that was a bad one but like th that was there the day I'm creating this video if you just like go back there are actually pretty good ones as well let's see if we had something 2016 this was a bad streak because i think okay this was a bad streak but then we did have a good wins 15 4 percent yeah i'm trying to see if we had good days so this was a good day obviously and this was a bad play and so i'll I, i'll go back sometime because like these portfolios were nailing it so so this is a really good one like 40 percent 43 percent 23 percent 32 percent so they were 31%. They were very consistent a while back. The market dynamics have changed a bit, but we will be on top of this. We will be building more portfolios so that uh, there's, there's a smooth transition anytime. Uh, there's a smooth transition to a new portfolio anytime the ones that we have uh, stop working. And that's how we probably uh, should stay in markets because one thing is never going to always work. So we're always trying to build new stuff. But uh, that's it about the AI portfolio. I think the important thing to note here is that we are going to keep updating these and anytime we do, we will have a very comprehensive uh, guide for you on what, what do these do and how to use them, stop losses, profit targets, uh, due diligence, uh, things like that, uh, stocks or options. Um, and so hopefully uh, this video should just tell you that we are always making new things. Uh, this is how portfolios will always uh, sort of look and hopefully by the time you're watching this video uh, or at least uh, in a couple of months from uh, from the time we are creating this video we will have much more accurate and much more profitable 
uh, air portfolios i am already in the process of uh, creating a couple uh, i am hoping they'll give give us good, good performance and then we'll pick the best and uh, convert it into a tool uh, that's it uh, thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you guys around